Hello and welcome to week 34 of our journey through Acts. This week we're going to look at Acts 27, the second to last chapter of Acts. This is the shipwreck chapter. This is the adventure trip. We're going, we're going to Rome. Uh, Paul has appealed to Caesar, and so he's going to be shipped out and shipped to Rome. So we begin with verse 1. And as it was determined for us to sail to Italy, notice that the we passages of Acts have returned. So Luke, or whoever the author of Luke Acts is, has returned. Of course, there are some who've argued, I think Purbo is the, Richard Purbo is the, the guy that comes to mind, that this is a novelistic feature, um, you know, that, you know, for a good story, you need yourself some sailing, man, a shipwreck. Um, I'll, you know, that's, um, he, he argues that this is a novelistic feature, you know, that maybe the author wasn't on the ship. And of course, there are others who've argued that perhaps, uh, Luke is using a travel narrative, although it's always uh, that he found or somebody else's. You know, this is always, uh, this is a weird thought, you know, that that the author of Acts would use someone else's diary and 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 make it sound like he was, it's, it's a weird idea to me. I, I can't quite get my head around that. Uh, so anyway, uh, Luke is with them and someone else down here, Aristarchus. Anyway, uh, it was determined, Aris passive, Theta Eta, um, Eris passive from Crino, indicative, third singular, and it was determined for us to sail. Uh, two with the infinitive is either a purpose or result construction, uh, but it translates as it was determined for us to sail, something like that. The subject, quote unquote, of an infinitive is in the accusative case. This is a present infinitive from Apopleo. Okay, uh, into Italy. Um, they delivered, they handed over uh, both Paul and certain different prisoners to a centurion uh, by the name of Julius, okay, of the, of the regiment of the Sebastian, of the Augustan regiment, of the imperial regiment. Uh, this is an imperfect of paradidomy. I know it's imperfect because there's the reduplication, funny reduplication of the present stem with an augment. Present stem with an augment is imperfect. Uh, they were handing over Paul. Uh, and blah, 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 uh, to, by name, uh, blah, blah. Okay, um, and verse two, and having embarked on a boat, an Adramitian boat, um, uh, having embarked, this is epibino, but it's lost its ein, so it is eris. It's an eris participle. My aunt is an active participle. Okay, so having embarked on a Adramitian boat, um, this is a horrible map. I apologize for it. I, I started to use one, uh, that's lovely in my Bible. Um, you know, I have a, I have several Greek New Testaments. Here's one. It has a lovely map uh, in the back. I started to use that, but then I thought, well, you know, I doubt anybody cares, but, you know, copyright. I am I am making a pittance. You know, every time someone watches an ad on, on my YouTube video, I get a few cents. So I thought, okay, fine, I'll just draw my own map. Adramidium is up here. So this is Turkey, right? Uh, it's a bad Turkey. But this is, uh, this is Asia Minor. And so if you go up this coast, Adramitium is up here somewhere. Uh, so the boat that they get on at Caesarea, Paul's at Caesarea, and they're going to head, they get on a boat that's headed up here. Now, that's not going to do. Uh, they're going to have to get on a different boat, and they do at Myra. At Myra, I knew someone named Myra. Um, they get on a different boat at Myra. But this will go, this will get them part of the way, you know. You don't have to be on the same boat the whole way. It's, you know, it's all about the destination, right? Um, so, having embarked on an Adramitian boat that was about to sail uh, into the places along Asia. So, it's, it's basically, whoops, 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 whoops. Uh, oh, what did I do? Um, so, it's, it's going along the Asia, along the, the places along Asia. It's going to hug the coast. Uh, we're, in, we're in late fall or, or early winter about now. Uh, and so it's getting rough to sail, especially this direction, the wrong direction. Uh, and so uh, uh, anyway, so they get on this boat about to, this is uh, aunt is an active participle. Uh, it's date of singular to go with boat, a boat about to sail, present of pleo. Uh, you can see apopleo up here, and this is just pleo, uh, to sail uh, unto the places against, against Asia. So it's going to hug the coast. Um, we were uh, taken up, we were let up. Uh, theta eta, eris passive, uh, eris passive indicative, men is first person plural. I know I say men are passive, but that's when there are endings after the men. 
This is men at the very end, which is first person plural. We, we were led up. Um, so um, Aristarchus being with us, uh, a Macedonian of Thessalonica. Okay, so uh, there are at least two friends with Paul. And on the different day, uh, we were led down to Sidon. Again, notice how they do it. They think differently than I do. I think, I think up north, south, down. But they go down to Sidon in, their, in their, the way they think. Of course, they don't know the globe, most of them, I assume. Um, so the, the Paul, Paul, Aristarchus, and Luke uh, get on a boat at Caesarea, and they go down to Sidon. The Sidon adventure. Ah, okay. That's later. Okay, so anyway, um, on the next day, we go down to Sidon. And Julius, who's the centurion, uh, commander of 100, um, behaving, having behaved kindly uh, to Paul. So Sigma Alpha, yes, that's right, it's Arist. Uh, this is Kraomai, it's deponent. So men are passive or middle participles. Uh, notice the endings after it. So it's not a first person plural. Uh, so this is a uh, uh, Arist middle participle, but it's deponent, which means we're going to translate it active. Um, Julius having behaved kindly. The Omega Sigma is a L-Y ending, kindly, um, a kind of an adverb ending. Um, having behaved kindly to Paul, uh, he allowed uh, him uh, to his friends, I'm adding his, to the friends, uh, going to obtain stuff, supplies, helps, uh, because the Romans aren't funding Paul's meals or anything like that, as far as I know. Uh, he needs to provide for himself, I'm guessing here. Uh, epitrepsen, ep epitrepsen, up C is the key to a hidden sigma, so we have a hidden sigma. Uh, si sigma epsilon is a third person singular uh, past tense ending. Uh, the way I usually say it is a new with an epsilon in front of it is almost always a movable new. Throw it away. <laughs> epsilon is a very common third person singular, active, past tense. Uh, indicative ending. So it's sigma tells me it's aorist, active indicative, third singular from epitrepo, trepho. Uh, he allowed uh, going, uh, him going. Uh, he allowed Paul, Paul's dative, so poruthenti is dative. The E is, go, is dative, just like that little iota hanging on under the omega. Okay, so uh, theta epsilon, aorist passive participle, but it's poru omai, it's deponent. Uh, so it's a um, aorist passive deponent participle. My nt is a participle, right? Uh, okay, uh, going to obtain help. This is tungkano. We've seen it before. Uh, ain is an infinitive ending, uh, but it, it's lost some letters. It doesn't have the ng or the an, tungkano. And so it's aorist. It's an aorist active infinitive from tungkano to obtain help. Verse four. And from there... This is Kai Akathan. That's crashed. Kakathan. It's called a crassus. Um, and this little breathing mark says, there's been an accident here. Uh, so, and from there, uh, having uh, been led up, uh, again, theta epsilon, Zeris passive, uh, unt tells me it's a participle, it's anago. Uh, us having been led up, uh, we sailed under Cyprus. Now, again, under the sigma alpha is Arist, right? Uh, aorist, active, indicative, first plural. Um, under, in this case, means above. <laughs> it, it means on the lee side. So if the wind, uh, the wind must be blowing this way this time of year. Uh, for this to be the, the, the lee side means the wind must be blowing this way. The, the uh, lee side is the opposite side of the wind. So they're sailing under Cyprus. Again, this is down, this is down, <laughs> going this direction. This is down. Uh, in the way they think. And so they, this is safer, right? This Pelagos, this open sea, uh, is a safer place than out here. Out here, this is bad. Don't sail out here. Don't do it, man. Uh, and so they're sailing on the safe side, staying closer to the land. Um, okay. So we sailed under, or to the lee side of Cyprus, because of the winds being hostile. Uh, dia, ta, infinitive is a causal construction on account of the winds to be hostile. Uh, okay, verse five. And the open sea, uh, the along Cilicia and Pamphylia having sailed, so having sailed 
the open sea uh, along, uh, uh, according to Cilicia and Pamphylia. Well, Cilicia is where Tarsus is, you know, where Paul's from. Tarsus of Cilicia. That's where he's a Cilician. Uh, that's where Paul's from. Pamphylia is about here. This is, and again, I, I apologize for my bad, my bad drawings, maybe here. This is where Paul and Barnabas go on their first missionary journey to Galatia. Um, anyway, um, you know, you get what you pay for, right? <laughs> pay me more money and I'll make a better, I'll pay someone to make a good map. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, okay, so uh, Cilicia and Pamphylia, having sailed, um, this is Sigma Alpha, it's, it's Eris, right? My aunt is an active participle. So it's an aorist active participle. Having sailed through the Pelagos, the open sea, uh, that is along Cilicia and Pamphylia, uh, we came down to Myra of Lycia. So Elf, do you know Elf? It is the irregular aorist of Urkami. So this is Kat Urkami. We went down to Myra. You know Myra, right? So here's Myra. So they finally arrive at Myra. Um, of Lycia. So this is Lycia, this little bump right here. Okay. Verse six. And from there, having the centurion, having found a, an Alexandrian boat, this is another Crassus, Kai, Eke, Kake. Um, and there, something's gone on here. There's been a crash here. Um, having found, this is Heurisco. So the Sco is missing. It's Arist. Uh, uh, Alexandria, you probably know is down here in Egypt. Uh, over here. So an Alexandrian boat. I don't know. How did he get there? Wow. Probably, I'm guessing, probably he sailed this way and the wind pushed him this way and they'd kind of negotiated. So it ended up being probably something like that, I'm guessing. Although I don't know. Maybe maybe it's been out for a while. Maybe he's been up here for a while. This, this strikes me as a very dangerous way. I, I don't think anybody would want to do that. Um, so maybe, you know, actually, it's possible that the Alexandrian boat had gone this way uh, to get there. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not wise in the ways of sailing, you know. Those are more like guidelines. Okay, so an Alexandrian boat sailing into Italy. This is a participle, pleo. It's a present uh, neuter singular participle because ployon is neuter. So this goes with that. A boat sailing. Uh, sailing, it takes me away to what? Okay, never mind. Into Italy. Um, uh, he put us on it. He embarked us on us, uh, on it. Um, this is um, Sigma Epsilon. We saw that up here. This is an aorist active indicative third singular ending. I would memorize Sen. I've done this, you know, in the chapters before. Sen is aorist active indicative third singular. Uh, from this is Mbibo. Um, let me just do a quick uh, look at my handy dandy notebook. And it is embibazo. Okay, embibazo is this word. And the zeta, like my teeth, has fallen out. Okay, he put us on it. Uh, verse 7, and uh, for, for some days, for sufficient days, um, uh, going slowly, sailing slowly. Uh, here's a word. Memorize that one. Uh, bradu ployo. Uh, ployeo. Something like that. Yeah, ployeo. Brad. Bradu ployeo, uh, sailing slowly and scarcely having come into Canidus. Um, okay, so this is a present active participle. My aunt is an active participle, and it's the present stem. There's been a little crash here. There's the police line. But um, uh, so Canidus is right here above Rhodes. This is a bad drawing of Rhodes, and this is Canidus. Uh, and so again, notice they're, they're hugging the line. They're on a different boat now. They're going to mad dash. I'm sorry, Crete should be this way a little bit. My failing. It should be more like a this kind of a journey rather than a, a this kind of a journey. So I failed. Um, okay. Um, so uh, they scarcely made it to Canidus, having come. Gen is Arist of Ginomai, right? Um, us, uh, uh, not the wind not allowing us um, uh, to go farther. So they're having trouble with the wind. This is a genitive absolute, a noun in the genitive, wind. Uh, with a participle in the genitive. This is uh, pro uh, e -a -o. Uh, So this is a present stem. The ah has, con has crashed, uh, but it's a present active participle. My aunt is an active participle from pro se -a -o, allowing us forward, the wind not allowing us forward. Um, we sailed under Crete uh, against Salmone. Now, we don't know exactly where Salmone is. Um, it might be an island right here. Um, so they've, they've sailed, 
again, the underside, the lee side, the wind must be blowing this way. The lee side of Crete is the side that, the opposite side that the wind is hitting. Um, and so this is the lee side. So they're sailing under Crete, um, making a mad dash down. Again, it should be more like that. Um, uh, and scarcely um, uh, coasting along it, we came into a certain place being called uh, Fair Havens, um, which, to it, which is near the city of, of Lacia, Lacia. Okay, um, so they come to Calus Menas, Fair Havens, Fair Harbor. So this is harbors, Fair Harbors, um, kind of ironic. But so they, they kind of try to hug the coast of Crete and they come to Fair Havens, which is near Lacia. Okay, so this is where we end off our journey today. It's about to go terribly wrong. I can tell you that. But they've made it this far um, uh, to Fair Havens um, on the underbelly of, of Crete. Okay, uh, what have I not parsed? Present passive participle being called. Uh, inching along, paralego, paralego my, this is deponent. We came, elf uh, is the aorist of Urkamai. Uh, we sailed under, sigma alpha is aorist, active, um, indicative. Okay, so there you have the Greek. More bad maps tomorrow. Uh, I will, uh, you know, unless I break down and, and copy something free somewhere. There you have it. On we go toward Rome.